Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're diving right back into Elite Zoo North with a lot to accomplish. We have to make up for the case of the mysterious missing episode, uh, but there's there's plenty to do. So let's dive right on in. And folks, as we do, just want to very quickly apologize for that missing episode. Uh, I tried to get the word out as, you know, uh, as far as possible uh, to let people know that there, there would be a missing episode, but oh man, I was just completely exhausted. Now I don't know if, if uh, you know if many of you are familiar with this feeling. Uh, hopefully, most of you aren't, uh, but I'm sure some of you at least have felt when you just kind of hit that brick wall and your body and your brain just go not today, and and you just kind of shut down. I get that every once in a while. It's a it's a result of I think my uh, very erratic sleep schedule and sleep cycle, but um, that a couple days ago when I would have been recording this episode was one of those days where my entire system was just like we're not working today uh, so I apologize for the delay I mean I know many of you uh, you know wait for it and uh, I do my best to kind of stay on schedule but I just had to uh, skip on skip on that day and I appreciate that y'all understand that and I appreciate your patience and I just wanted to say thank you uh, I want to mention also as well uh, if you happen to miss out on that update that hey this episode's not happening um, first of all sorry uh, I will say, though, if you do have Twitter, uh, one of the best things you can do is follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description down below. Uh, that will... Th th Twitter is what I use to give out updates about scheduling sort of situations, if there are any to, to share, uh, as well as other stuff. Obviously, I tweet about other things, too, not just my schedule. Uh, so that's definitely one way to keep on top of those things. And the other thing is I did put out a community post. Uh, so if you go to the channel page and you go to the community tab, there is a post that talks about how there won't be any videos on, you know, well, I guess it would be two days ago now. Um, however, that relies too heavily on YouTube notifications going out. And sometimes YouTube notifications fail, uh, especially if you're not subscribed to the channel or you don't have the bell pressed, uh, you won't get those notifications. So uh, just a heads up, you know, Twitter is probably the most uh, concrete way to, to stay on top of that kind of stuff only because I send those tweets out myself it's not automated i.e it's not up to youtube to fail at sending them out uh nonetheless enough enough rambling about that again uh thank you all for understanding but we're back at it again very excited for this session and that's the thing i wanted to do something really cool for this episode and i'm really excited for what we're going to do this episode so i didn't want to try and do it when i knew i was tired because i do a bad job of it and at the end of the day what's the fun in that uh, i would rather that we um like as much as it as much as it's not great, I'd rather have uh, a missing episode than have an episode where it's very clear that you know it's tired and the the result isn't that great, and then we have to go back and fix it. That's my two cents at least. Anyway, before I get into today's major thing, now we're going to be having a time lapse in just a couple minutes. I'm not going to uh, spend too long before we get into the time lapse, but there's a couple of things that need urgent taking care of uh, before I forget yet again. Uh, I got distracted from building this last session when uh, Abril passed away. Uh, many of you, many of you astute observers, actually made note of something very interesting. Um, she passed away uh, in the real world month, not the in-game month, but the real world month of April, uh, her namesake, obviously. So that's kind of a sweet, uh, touching connection, I guess. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. I didn't notice that at all, and then it was pointed out by a couple of you in the comments, and I was like, oh, damn, you know, that's... It, 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 in its own sort of way, that's kind of sweet. I mean, those tortoises, man, they've been with us for so long. Uh, many of you checked it out, and it was, like, since episode four, I believe, uh, is, is, uh... If I, if I recall correctly, and that's just absolutely wild. Absolutely wild how long they've been with us. Um, anyway, so I, I uh, just wanted to mention that. I want to get this done as well, so maybe hopefully we can, you know, stem some of the escapes. And then, of course, I wanted to deal with a touch of irony. I think it was as I was talking about how we're stopping um, inbreeding from happening, as I was talking about that, our pangolin had to, uh, you know, <laughs> get to it, so to speak. So let's go ahead and get in here and and get those contraceptives going. I can't I can't believe it. Ming Mei is our is our uh new one. These are great genes and they're going to be wasted on on a generation. Now, hang on actually, Ming Mei, if we keep you So this is obviously inbreeding. You can see the the massive potential drop that should happen. This is nature pushing um 
genetic diversity. Actually, Enlai here is pretty good too. What about uh, Shu? Oh, they're all really good actually. 67, 92, 8300. Alright, well, Ming Mei is a little bit better than Shu. Obviously, inbreeding is still bad. I'm wondering if I want to trade Ming Mei out. Uh, what are our animals here like? Again, just a just a quick couple of things I want to take care of before we dive into our time lapse. So the time lapse is is basically immediate, and we would get some babies, but of course those babies are, um, are the result of inbreeding. Why are y'all upset? Oh, you know because I'm paused, right? Yeah, that's probably why. That's probably why. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and remove Ming Mei from the equation. We can not. Hmm. Because of the pregnancy? Let's see. If I put you in the trade center. Right, we're gonna unpause for a quick second over here because I want to check something here. Put you in the trade center. Away you go. Um, are we not able to trade her out? Because she's pregnant? Which is fine. We'll just have to work around it. Um where are you? What am I looking for again? Chinese pangolin. There we go. Chinese pangolin. Please. Oh yeah, there we go. Ming Mei. We are able to, yes, trade her out. Okay, because I, I think we might do that because our, uh, our adults here are still young enough that they can have more babies and then we just got to stay on top of contraceptives. That is a part of what I'm going to be doing with management later today. We'll keep Ming Mei there for now. It's a little unfortunate what happened there because that was a great, you know, set of genes. But I think I think it's fine. Again, we're we're likely. Well, that's not a that's a that's a scent marker. Uh, I think we're likely to get you know more high quality babies out of uh, out of our pair over here. Again, I just have to stay on top of it. But yeah, uh, reducing inbreeding is definitely something I want to spend some time focusing on today. Uh, there will be a fair bit of managing. Um, a fair bit of in-depth manage management stuff going on. I'm really actually excited to uh, to tackle some of these big problems that we've kind of just kept like setting aside. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Now over here, just one more thing I wanted to check. Uh, Elok, why are you in a box? Elok's in a box. Why are you in a box? What's going on here? Not you. I'm going to click on the door. Uh, we've got... Kaliapa and Elok are supposed to be our breeding pair, right? No, Kaliapa and Susil are supposed to be our breeding pair. Elok, we're getting rid of. Right, that's why. So if we unpause again. Are we getting rid of you? Destination not set. Okay, hold on. Let's unbox you for a second. I had to, I had to check on some things here. So if you are 8392, 3367. 83 night. This is I don't like the new system of organization. I want my I want the adults together at the top. You're being carried over to here. Okay, I guess you're being taken by the vet because you got injured. And Kaliapa, let's just check in on you here. I believe this is inbreeding, right? Compare mates. Elok is inbreeding, yes, that's why you're on contraceptives. Susil. 92, 75, 83, 83. Yeah, okay, so Susil gets to stay. Elok has to go. So, Elok, we're going to send you to the Trade Center, right? Because they're not terrible genetics at all. They're decent genetics except for fertility. Uh, so we'll trade Elok out elsewhere. Kaliapa is the dad, and Susil will hopefully be brought back. Just got to keep an eye out for that. Uh, one of our Gariel is about to mature, so that tells me we're going to be overcrowding there soon as well. But that is something... Sorry, Kariel all the way over here. The zoo is big. Uh, that's something we'll deal with afterwards. I just wanted to check in with the Komodo dragons because there were some uh, notes brought up in the comments of the previous episode. I just want to check in on that stuff. Uh, and there was one last thing before the time lapse I want to check in on, which is over here for our reindeer. In fact, by the way, I got a really cool suggestion for how to do the reindeer fence. I might sneak that into today's time lapse, even though that's not the focus of today's time lapse. Today's time lapse, the focus of at least... Uh, I, I assume it has been made very clear by the thumbnail and or title. Um, hopefully, if I'm if I'm doing my job right. Let's go ahead and check one thing here, though, real quick. Take a look at the habitat. 
You're able to escape up over here. Of course you are. Of course you are. Sneaky little bugger. Go ahead and put this up over here. Kind of tuck that in a bit. Or we could do this kind of a thing. Now, okay, hold on. You know what? <sighs> I, I don't necessarily like doing this because it hasn't worked for me in the past. But folks keep insisting it's a possibility. So it's got to be a possibility. I must be the one getting it wrong. It must be, right? I'm willing to admit that. We're going to attach that over there. And over here. We're going to go ahead and delete all this. And I hope it works. Uh, where you go? Up over there. Get rid of you. Let's attach you over here to that. All right. So that should, in theory, based on what y'all have been saying, that should work. Shared wall over there. I mean, I could even share the uh, the fence over here if I wanted to. But it looks like that is working. Yeah, okay, great. So I guess it's a matter of how to attach um, versus what I was doing back up at the uh, the monastery. So maybe I'll fix that as well. So again, I mean, thank you all for pointing these things out. But uh, I was uh, confused by why it wasn't working before. To be perfectly frank, I'm still not 100% sure as to the difference of doing it this way versus how we did it at the monastery. Like, it's the same end result from a... Uh, visual perspective so from a mechanical perspective it should give us the same end result as well anyway don't want to ramble about that i've got work to do we're good over here this is a safe space to go into now we're good we're good we're good over here good everywhere uh it was also suggested that we get rid of the bridge because bridges aren't really a thing in this culture so we could get rid of the bridge and instead of the bridge have a bit of a land bridge basically um which i like the idea of we should be able to get rid of the water and re-add it. Yeah, it's not a problem. Let's go ahead and add... Again, we have to make sure that our... Um, our staff are able to get through as well, right? Let's not forget that. That's my only issue with a land bridge, but what we can do is we can... do kind of like this sort of a thing. And of course, we do want to paint that terrain as well, because that, uh, that doesn't look very right at all. Go ahead with the sand. No, actually, let's go with soil. I feel like soil makes more sense in, in this kind of a space. Maximum intensity. There we go. There we go. It's a little bit higher than I would have liked, if I'm completely honest, but I think it has to be at least that high for the uh, water to come in around it. Cool, so now they're able to get down over here. That's a land bridge. I think I might need to add a bit of a slope on this side so they can get back down over here as well. Like, why limit their exploration, right? Why limit their exploration? There we go. Should be able to get in there. And our guests can get across as well. And then what I can actually do is, uh, I can actually do, I don't know about ice. Uh, the, the, the ice doesn't look very good, if I'm completely honest. But it could make it a uh, snowy bridge. If I was going to do that, though, then everything would have to be snow, because otherwise, like, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't think uh, it makes sense. Uh, let's 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 leave it like this for now. We'll we'll tackle that uh, maybe later. Uh, for now, though, I'm just going to very quickly uh, spend a moment with our new reindeer over here. It was pointed out that we didn't really spend any time looking at Freya uh, last session. She is quite a cutie. I like I like the coat. Uh, I'm glad we have one at least with a coat rather than just a bunch of albino reindeer, because um, the coloration of the reindeer is is definitely something I've always found rather uh, beautiful. Um, Something about the way the patterns play out. And as I was taught in the comments a, a couple of episodes ago, uh, they there are multiple different types of patternings, if I recall correctly. I learned so much about the reindeer. Um, that adorable little, like, frowny face. It looks like this little, like, lion over there. So cute. Um, <laughs> So cute. Let's go ahead, though, and uh, unpause for a moment, if only to see the habitat update. Multiple animals of low welfare. Come on, give me... Give me the updated habitat. I believe in you, game. Our Gariel are maturing. There we go. Here's the update coming through. Okay. So good over here. You're good down there. You can get across. You're fine. What about our baby? I'm sure our baby is fine as well. Is that not? There you are. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You can get in there as well. Excellent. Beautiful. Wonderful. Love it. And then down in this corner... There was talk about how this uh, is kind of video gamey, and you know what? I agree. I agree. Let's go ahead and fix that. Last thing before our time lapse. 
I'd say I promise, but there's a very high likelihood that um, I'm gonna notice something else. But don't worry, there's there's definitely a time lapse coming, and I I I, I expect it to be a satisfying time lapse. I I hope it's a satisfying time lapse. Uh, I'm really excited for it. It's uh, one that I would say uh, is dear to me. And uh, while that is, yes, a pun, I also mean it 100%. Um, and I'm sure I'll explain during the time lapse. I just want trees over here. And preferably, there we go. Mm, that doesn't look like what I'm going for. There we go. This is more along the lines of what I need. So I'm hoping, this was again suggested that like, hey, why don't we put some fallen trees and stuff down that might actually feel more the part, feel a bit more like it belongs rather than just tacked on again, kind of video gamey. And that is something I've been trying to avoid as much as possible. And in some cases, it's not been possible because obviously it is a video game. It has a video game rules and you have to work around those video game rules. But every once in a while, if I'm able to block things off um, in more believable ways, I would I would rather do that. I th think this will work. I mean, they are able to go into some pretty strange and funny angles is the problem. But this might work. Let's see if we can't get... you down like this a couple fallen trees should do the trick right and move you up a little bit so you're leaning up against that feels like you actually belong right you've fallen over this tree over here that might do the trick best way to find out is to unpause a little bit we'll check with our baby because they're the uh, sneakier ones obviously check with our baby unpause for a moment and i want to be quick about this because again our our Gariel are maturing so you're able to get up over here, but you're not able to cross. That was the update coming through, I believe. So we're good. I feel a lot better about that blockade. Um, but with that done, let's go ahead and dive on into our time lapse, I think. I did say that I was going to maybe tackle this today. Um, but you know what? No, no, no. Let's, let's not do that. We'll save that for when we do our beauty pass and our, uh, you know, vendor stalls and stuff over here. Uh, for now, let's go ahead back to East Asia. We're going to add the latest resident to our zoo. Again, really excited for this one. I hope I pulled this one off right. I got a lot of great suggestions, um, and uh, I've done a lot of research and a lot of planning for this one, so hopefully hopefully you'll like it. Anyway, enough, uh, enough rambling. We've waited long enough for this. Let's dive on in. All right, folks. I am super pleased with how this time lapse comes through, or uh, rather how the enclosure comes through. Uh, I hope I've done a good job of it. Y'all need to let me know in the comments if you like it, if you hate it, if you have any suggestions for it, whatever it might be. I'm really curious to hear what y'all think. Now, the um, the impetus for this idea was uh, a lot of comments that I got and my own personal kind of experiences, I guess, to a degree. Um, so initially, I was actually going to do like a nice like pagoda structure uh, you know, massive uh, opportunities for these animals to climb a lot and for guests to maybe have a spiral staircase in the center. Think of it like the eagle eye, except bigger with uh, stops at each level with the macaque able to, you know, move uh, move between those levels. And I, I, I like that idea, and I do still like that idea in its own way. Uh, but there was a suggestion in the comments many, many episodes ago now uh, that was like, hey, how about doing a, uh, a hot spring? And the thing about the hot spring is that um well how do, so okay so first of all the thing about the pagoda is that my concern ultimately was that it would look a little too similar to our uh you know himalayan section it would look a little too similar to our uh china section not that we have pagodas in the china section and stuff but there are a lot of similar shapes and aesthetically using the game pieces, they would end up looking very similar as well. So I was like, alright, you know what, let's set that aside, let's do this hot spring. Uh, because not only is that an interesting and different idea, I really like the suggestion, uh, but I also, uh, anytime I think about uh, hot springs um, having to do with Japan, I think about my own trip to Japan, which was many, many years ago now. Uh, but uh, I, had a, I had a really great time. I was spent, I think it was three weeks there, and among the various places we checked out, uh, we ended up checking out this place called, I think it was Hakone. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, I'll be honest. Um, I think it was Hakone. And uh, they have these sulfur springs, if I recall correctly. And what you can do is you can basically go up among the mountains 
And this is also one of the places where you can get the clearest, uh, one of the clearest views of Mount Fuji. But uh, I digress. You, uh, you can get to the top of these mountains. You have to... I'm trying to remember my trip. It was so many years ago. But you have to take a boat, like a ferry, across a lake. This lake was formed by um, a... Uh, what is it? A comet? Meteor? Comet? Which one is it? The bigger one. The one that actually has an impact. Like, this lake is an impact crater. So you have to take a ferry across the lake. And then you take a... Um, uh, like a, not a ski lift, but you know, a cable car. There we go. I think that's the, that's the term for it. You take a cable car up to the top of the mountain. And then when you get there, the smell is horrendous, first of all, because these are sulfur springs. So it smells like, like rotten eggs. Um, so that's one thing to, to be wary of. But the, the coolest thing, one of the most memorable things, uh, from the trip apart from, you know, the beauty of it, obviously, uh, was the, um, the uh they would they would hard boil eggs using the water that came from that spring and because it had so much sulfur in it the shell of these eggs would be black uh they tasted just like regular eggs and eggs are i, I think eggs are delicious so it was, it was great um but yeah they were they were black eggs uh, so that was a really memorable moment um so between you know taking a ferry across an impact crater and uh, catching a glimpse of Mount Fuji in all its majesty, uh, standing, you know, by a massive Tori gate, similar to the one that's at Miyajima, but not exactly the same. And then taking that cable car, having a black hard-boiled egg, like it was such a, it was such a fun experience. So thinking about hot springs, now while that wasn't a hot spring bath, but when I think about hot springs, that one comes to mind. Uh, immediately. So, uh, a, a huge digression, just a personal story that I wanted to share, I guess, uh, that really got me motivated to, to do the, uh, the hot spring bath kind of enclosure, which is what we're doing. Uh, so in Japan, you get a lot of what's called, uh, and I'm, again, I'm going to butcher pronunciations and I apologize for that. Uh, I do try to be very particular, um, but, but some things are obviously beyond my capabilities, but I believe it's, it's, it's called an onsen. Onsen? 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 Not sure. Uh, but it is a it is a Japanese hot spring that is also used uh, for, for bathing. Um, and I believe they can be indoors, but they are... Lately, I think they're typically outdoors as well. I'm not 100% sure. Or actually, no, I think it's the other way around. I think they were typically located outdoors, but nowadays they're built indoors. Um, just for, you know, modern conveniences and whatnot. Um, but yeah, they're, they're natural hot spring baths. And, uh, I wanted to kind of build, uh, something along those lines. So, you know, the mountains, th these are typically, uh, out of, like, natural springs and stuff. So I've got the mountains. The mountains have a little waterfall that we're going to build for them. The waterfall leads into this pool of water down below. We're going to add steam and stuff to make it look like it's hot. Um, yeah. I feel like, uh, I feel like it'll be, I feel like once it's all done and all the, all the parts are in place, it'll, it'll, it'll be, be pretty, uh, pretty epic. I'm pretty excited to see it all done. Obviously this session we get most of it done, but some of the visual effects and stuff we aren't able to get done because I wanted to get the animal in and, uh, the session was running long by the time the animals got in and you'll see why when we get to it. But uh, we'll be doing some of the visual effects, I think, uh, next session. So building a little, like, hard shelter space over here. I want the uh, animals to be able to... I want the monkeys to be able to hide in here if it's raining or if they're uncomfortable outside. But I want the guests to be able to come through as well. So you will see me put down a, um, a guest entry, uh, which really I have to stop doing. Because I'm going to be honest, they're... I'm trying to figure out which word I want to hit, hit it with. Uh, they're either frustrating or they're hideous. Y'all help me decide. Frustrating or hideous? <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, frustrating because just the way they end up impacting the flow of traffic. And hideous because of how they look with narrowing the pathway down. Unfortunately, um, my execution of this idea began with great excitement. And that excitement clouded my judgment. Uh, and I completely forgot about how horrendous it can be to, to make a... Uh, <laughs> guest gate into into a habitat uh anyway that's uh again another another digression i guess um 
So what are, what, are, what do we got going on? We've got our uh, water coming through. We've got you know a, a, a decent number of trees. We've got the rocks uh, along the edges and stuff, and some in the middle as well. Now I was hoping that the monkeys would be able to actually jump from rock to rock a little bit and uh, traverse that way. I thought it'd be interesting to see. But even if they're not able to do that, I'm not too bothered by it. Um, I'd like it. It'd be a nice extra, but it's not the end of the world if they're not able to. Uh, if they're not able to uh, to do that, you'll notice by the way these side walls. I don't know how. I don't know how. But these side walls have ended up at a slight angle. They're not upright. But oh yeah, here I go. Uh, I was about to say, but I do go in and try to fix that. Um, but it all ends up being irrelevant later anyway, and I'll I'll explain why, or you'll see why when we get there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why these things didn't end up perfectly 90 degrees upright. I guess I'm still not 100%. Um, seems to be. Uh, by the way, the flooring that you're seeing, the, uh, the the pathway, I actually ended up using the new South America DLC bamboo flooring because it felt right. And then for the uh, this little extension over the water, I swapped it out, so to speak, with um, the East Asia... Which one is it? One of the East Asia panels. Uh, it just felt like it needed to transition into something else for our you know, deck, if you will. And I wanted to build a space over here as well that people could kind of stand and just look. I, again, blending what one might find at one of these uh, hot spring baths alongside, you know, other uh, more more zoo type um, constructs, I suppose, is the word I would use. Um, yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure out what else I can ramble about. I mean, I could talk about the different kinds of onsen that exist. There are uh, different kinds based on the type of water being used, if I'm not mistaken. Like, uh, you will get... I mean, I was talking about the uh, the sulfur hot springs just earlier. Uh, I believe Hakone does have sulfur hot spring baths. That is a type of uh, onsen. Um, you can get uh, ones which are rich in iron, I believe, as well. And I think some are just like just plain water. I think some have uh, ex excess amounts of uh, sodium chloride in them. So yeah, there's a there's a big variety out there uh, in terms of uh, the types of baths. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it knowledgeable. I, onsen are actually not something I'm super knowledgeable about, uh, but I have a huge uh, I, I I'm I'm a big fan of Japan. Um, when we went there for three weeks, that was like some of my favorite, like some of the best three weeks of my life. Um, just because I, I, I would say it was probably like my dad had a big impact on that because he's a big fan of uh, Japanese culture and stuff as well. Uh, he's a big like, kind of history nerd as well. But I feel like I feel like there's a lot of uh, transference of personality happening there. But uh, you know, if you follow other stuff on the channel, you'll know I'm a big fan of the game Shogun Total War. That was my first exposure to history at that scale, and that's all about Japan as well. So very early on in my life, I uh, this was like when I was in early middle school, I would say like sixth grade or something. Uh, I got really into um, history, and one of the biggest gateways into that interest for me was Japan. So that's why I kind of have this like uh, uh, very long-term... Um, long long standing i guess uh love for for japan and japanese culture and stuff uh plus i mean if you've never been to japan if 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 there's if you are someone i would say if you're someone who lives in quote unquote the west i.e europe or the americas or what have you honestly if you're someone who lives in south asia as well i would say uh or north africa i'm only speaking from experience of where i've been uh, i can highly recommend Japan as like a bucket list experience it I've, I've been to a couple I've been to a handful of countries and it is an experience like no other and there is something for I feel like everyone if you're a foodie if you're um, a history nut if you just like being uh, embedded into a culture either um, in a traditional sense or in a very modern sense like there's there was so much to do again like i said we spent three weeks there um not enough time i've been i've been itching to go back anyway I'm, i should stop rambling <laughs> i should talk more about what you're actually seeing on screen uh so you just saw me put down the uh barrier uh unfortunately that obviously will not work because see this, this is where i start to like question my 
decision making. Um, I didn't need to make this enclosure so complicated, and having done so now, it's just going to bite me in the butt because now I've got to figure out how to get our entrance or our keepers actually hooked up and like actually accessible. And you can see now I've gone back and I've deleted a part of the barrier and I'm like, okay, hold on a second, this isn't going to work. Now, the thing with the water, part of the plan with the water is that it's going to be a barrier for the uh, for the monkeys. They're not going to swim across. Uh, it's too wide of a gap for them to jump across, I'm fairly certain. That's at least the hope. Um, so that, that's uh, the, the water serves a function. It's not just uh, pretty, you know, dec decoration. Uh, it's form and function. Um, and then I do this silly thing, which is like, oh, you know what? Let's let's not make that so complicated. Let's put the get uh, the, the the entrance over here. And again, so out of it, I guess I must be that it didn't occur to me until a fair bit later that hang on a second, if you put the monkeys down right there. They'll, they'll just run freely throughout the zoo. Um, so I do go back and fix that, don't worry. But uh, I feel so accomplished. I go, okay, you know what, cool. We're, we're done that. Let's move on. Let's go ahead and get down some of these uh, uh, important facilities. We get water. We get power. The wind turbine didn't really have enough of a coverage zone, so I swapped it out with a regular generator. Uh, and then we got to make some you know, connections over here. The, the paths were being really funny. There were a lot of little things this session that uh, were being funny. Right, let's put it that way. Yeah, being funny. And there's there's more of that to come, but ultimately, it's okay. We managed to get past that, and I think this is me realizing, wait, hold on, hang on a second. No, 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 I haven't realized it yet. Uh, the next step, because I'm still so confident in that solution, the next step is, yeah, let's put down some bins. I, I did not put down benches. I need to put down some benches, uh, but I do end up sort of cleaning this connection up, and then I go ahead and I believe, yeah, we put down some toilet blocks. It was actually pointed out that we don't have very many toilets over here. So put down some toilet blocks. I put down some, you know, vendors for food, drink, and I do this little alternating thing, so some things you can access from the far side, some things from the uh, the close side, using the train tracks as the, uh, the measure, I guess. Uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting, maybe we'll see guests moving around a bit more that way. Uh, dropping down ATMs, like I'm so happy with the <laughs> the conclusion of the, uh, the enclosure. I'm even putting down donation bins, wow, come on party. <laughs> I wanted, to, I really wanted to see the animals, and I'm really excited to get the uh, the Japanese macaque in because uh, you can have a lot of them in an enclosure, and I think once we have, you know, the max amount in this enclosure, it's going to be so fun to see them roaming around, running around, jumping around, you know, monkeying around. I I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I think this is me going, oh, hang on a second, this doesn't work. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> and, and thus begins, thus re-begins the struggle. Um, man. All because I wanted to have this little bridge experience, and this little, I mean, it's its totally worth it. At the time, I'm not gonna lie to you, at the time it was getting a little frustrating, I was like, oh my god, this, this time lapse had been going on for like, at this point in time, about an hour and 45 minutes or so, and I was just like, I just want this, I just want to stop. <laughs> uh, I, I just, I just want it to be done, I want the animals in, I want to share in the joy. Uh, and that's when I realized, oh no, I have to put down a guest entrance. <laughs> so, you know what I was talking about earlier with regards to the pain? Yeah, this was, uh, this was fun. <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, uh, no pain, no gain, right, as they say. So, it's still looking really good. I'm still happy with it. Don't really like this wonky shape over here, but it's fine. And you can see over here as well, just kind of a little bit of a struggle, but we, we make it work. I make sure those things are climb-proof as well. I'm pretty sure if not now, then later. Uh, and just make a few adjustments here and there. Um, and uh, yeah, I got to get, uh, get the keeper entrance done as well, which we'll do shortly, I believe. I believe, yeah. It's kind of weird. The door doesn't line up properly, so I actually have to... I, I end up having to delete a lot of the construction stuff that I did. That's why this is... this. These, these being at a weird angle ended up being irrelevant because I just get rid of them completely. Um, some of it now during the time lapse and some of it after the time lapse and you'll see why when we get to it in just a moment's time. But uh, I feel pretty comfortable about things at this stage so I actually end the time lapse here and we are going to move on to regular speed. Alright folks, we are back and boy oh boy was that a little bit longer than I had actually anticipated. I didn't, uh, I was struggling a lot with, um, placing the habitat gates and stuff. I need to stop. Honestly, 
I need to stop making um, habitats that guests can get into. I just don't like how this kind of narrowing feels. Um, thankfully, like once they get through, there's a lot of space for them to roam. And again, if we take a look at the Japanese macaque, you can see that it allows guests into the habitat. Obviously, I checked that before I built it, but I wanted to showcase it here as well. Um, now, I do hope, like, like this looks like a very large space, I know, because they only need 300 meters square, but they can get uh, pretty large in terms of their group size. So I'm hoping that uh, we get quite a few of them in and they roam in this area. We're going to probably have to do a fair bit of work to make sure they can't climb these quote unquote mountains. Um, but I figured I'd leave that for after we get the animals in, we can spot all their escape routes and uh, and close them off. Uh, plus, I'll be honest, that was almost two hours of, uh, of building. Uh, I, I wanted to kind of step away, get the animals in, and just enjoy the uh, the results so far. There's still a lot of work to be done here, but again, the plan is we'll get the animals in here. Uh, we're going to be doing a beauty pass over here. Of course, these things need to get uh, some suitable coverings and stuff as well. We're going to do a beauty pass over here, and that same beauty pass will carry on over to here as well. That'll be next session, um, though I do need some name suggestions for a hot dog squad, an info center, a Looney Balloons, a Monsieur Frit, a Pip Shot Water, and of course, the enclosure itself. Um, so feel free to drop your uh, suggestions in the comments down below. Actually, on the topic of names, I just realized one thing that was mentioned in the comments that I slipped my mind. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be... Oh yeah, this is this is right, this is right. It was, uh, it was suggested that the accent's in the wrong direction, but I believe that's in the correct direction. All right, fair enough. Uh, I just want to do a double check, though. All right, back over here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves our animals. Uh, I want to make sure we drop them in, and I want to, if I'm completely honest, I wanted to do a lot of management stuff, but um, that uh, that time lapse was exhausting. I, I don't think I fully, I'll be honest, recovered from, uh, from the fatigue, uh, so I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. So I think what we'll do is we'll get the animals in, we'll do a little bit of management stuff, uh, make sure nothing's going to, you know, blow up in our face, and then we will, um, and then we'll do all the management stuff I want to do today in the next session alongside our beauty pass. All right, let's get our Japanese macaque. Well, actually, first of all, sorry. Sorry, I apologize. I want to make sure I get the work zone set up. Staff, work zones... Uh, this is going to be East Asia. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff included. There's some ATMs as well that I want to make sure it get uh, included too. And apart from that, it's been pointed out to me that our Arctic region might actually be excluding these ATMs. No, no, keep the... There we go. I guess I got to go actually go underground over here. Yeah, there we go. Done. That should do the trick. A couple out over here as well. There, that should do the trick. Now, I will want to uh, add some more mechanics as well. We've been having a lot of things breaking down recently. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them down at random. Uh, and we will allow them to kind of roam freely. We don't need to uh, specify work zones for them, I don't think. As long as they roam freely, we'll be able to keep uh, things going, hopefully, smoothly. Um, right, enough distractions. Now let's get the animals. So, the Japanese... Makak, where are you? First of all, let's clear our filter here. Uh, J, H, I, J, there we go. Whoop, where'd you go? H, I, J. All right, let's see if we can't get some good monkeys. Uh, some decent stats, let's see. I mean, I, I, I don't know how, like, uh, like what to expect as the average. 2,500 for this, really. 330 for this? I don't know about that. I mean, these are better stats. Again, the bottom two, while they matter, they don't, uh, they're less indicative of potential results. So we'll go ahead and take Osamu and Roku, perhaps. Kind of expensive, but these are decent genes, except for that top one. Um, or, you know, we can just get uh, Suki here. Sure. It's kind of unfortunate. This is the downside of having things be so reliant on community exchange uh, that, like, for so many animals now, I've been relying on Frontier Zoo as opposed to uh, People's Zoos. So it's a little bit of a bummer, I'll be honest. It feels like uh, that sense of uh, community building is a little gone, or community-based building is a little gone, unless you're trading animals that are uh, 
I guess, you know, popular at the time, which is not something you can really predict. Um, I mean, it's just, it's part and parcel of how this kind of the system works, which is perfectly fine. Thought I'd mention it. Let's go ahead and get our animals, not just you, but in fact, not you at all. I'm going to go ahead and get our... Japanese macaque, if I could select you, that would be wonderful. Let's move you over to quarantine. And you can see I've got the trade center and stuff over here. I've got a nice, it, it's so far away from the center, I figured it'd be nice to finally actually get basically a little bit of everything. Um, let's move you, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, come on. There we go, had to actually hit return. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to have like a larger keeper hut, a larger staff room. Or actually, I believe this is still a small staff room, but it's only going to be uh, for the staff of, what, two animals? I believe we have another staff room over here. This is the large staff room, which would, you know, which is covering these animals. So I feel like a small staff room is enough over here, but we did get another a uh, quarantine. We've got another trade center, and we also have a large keeper hut. So hopefully that'll help take the load off of some of the other places where we might be seeing some strain. And again, once we beautify it, the negative impact radio, uh, radius will be reduced significantly. Not that it matters anyway. What's going on over here? Oh, right. That's the wind turbine. Um, all right. So that's all good. That's all good. We need to do what? Unpause, I guess. I do want to take a look at one thing really quickly, though. We have our challenge. Oh, hello. Souvenir profits. Wonderful. Go ahead and claim that. 1,500 for making nearly 3,000. The ratios just don't make sense. But our community challenge, the very best, which we have... Uh, I think we did quite well. Your standing is a reflection of your contribution weighed against that of the community. In one uh, session, which was an hour long, we managed to get uh, within the top something percentile. Oh man, if we'd done a little bit better, we could have actually got some more fancy animals and stuff. So that's why I wanted to get involved. I wish I'd, I wish I'd done more, I guess, but uh, I'm glad what I did, I did during a session as opposed to off to the side. I feel like that makes it a bit more, it gets us all involved, right? It's a part of the zoo. Uh, so let's go ahead and collect all unclaimed rewards. How many? Ten rewards. All right, what have we got here? What have we got here? New pants, a new shirt, pretty cool shirt, a new, new hat. A Formosan black bear, yes! That's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful because that is going to be not the next animal we add, but the animal after the next animal. So this is actually perfect timing. Makes me extra glad that we participated in that, uh, in that activity. So let's go ahead and claim all this, of course. And if we take a look at our animal trading... And our animal storage, or rather our rewards. Uh, we have a Nile monitor as well, of course, when we get to the Africa zones. Oh, look at those stats. 83 is across the board. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's going to be great. That's going to be great. All right, let's go ahead and I think unpause. We're going to have to deal with some gurial nonsense, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead. Yeah, unpause. Let our, uh, you know, quarantine and stuff take place. But animals over here are going to be maturing very quickly now. Um, and I'm going to have to... Put a bunch of them into quarantine. This frame rate drop has got to be because of the new paths. It's not because of... Uh... There we go, yeah. Now now we're smoothed out. In fact, the, the frame rate has moved out, smoothed out quite a bit. Uh, two alerts, one alert. I need, to, I need to figure this out. I need to figure out my mom and dad, basically. Because we have a lot of animals with some great genes in here. Virage... 9275 150 9275 150 so arnav you are going to be released into the wild decent i would say sure go ahead and do that got to be got to be kind of ruthless and fast over here cuz viraj is still young uh sneha i think we can get rid of you as well pretty good stats let's go ahead and put you in the trade center i want to do a massive uh, trade session sometime soon uh, maybe next session, maybe the session after that, because, um, sorry, I just want to fix the order of this, uh, because next session I, I do want to do a fair bit of management, it will take some time, uh, but I think it's very important that we do it. Up over here, what are your stats looking like? Fatyush. Go ahead and move you, whoa, sorry about that. Move you to the trade center. Move you to the trade center. That's just the game not listening to my clicks. You are an adult as well. Hold on a second. Did we just have... We had a male and a female Pratyush? I hope so. Hope I didn't select the wrong thing the second time around. Either way, we're going to keep our mom and dad. They're, they've been a good mom and dad. They're still young enough to have... Uh, 
Actually, Avni is getting kind of old. Not, not so old that we have to rehome her, so I think we're still okay. These are good genes. These are good genes. Make sure there's no fighting happening over here. In fact, sorry, let me check real quick here. Our Zoopedia. In terms of your yeah, 1 to 7, up to 7 males, up to 7 females. What are we looking at right now? Oh, I wish this would be better organized. I was going to set you to the trade center. Let's just let's just do a proper cleanup over here. We'll get more babies soon enough. You we can release to the wild. Let's go. We still have a lot of babies that'll be you know, eventually Oh my god, size one hundred percent? You kidding me? Um mm. Kind of tempting, isn't it? But Viraj would be inbreeding, obviously. Oh, look at that potential, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Too much of a risk. Obviously, we're not going to force that. Um, we'll we'll go ahead and... Which in the Trade Center, though. Oh, my God. So many babies. It's almost like insects. You know when they, like, swarm? That's almost how I feel. Okay, I think we cleared our alert over here. One alert. What is the alert? Injury, bedding, not enough bedding. Oh, the uh, is still another adult that needs to be taken care of, I think. Great center with you. Alright, alright. What are we looking at? You just bring another male back. Aditya. Yes, you did. Oh my god, they're huge. They're terrifyingly huge. Let's, uh... Let's release you to the wild. Longevity is kind of low, so let's release you to the wild. Wow, that's uh, that's a fair sum of conservation credits. All right, have I cleared the issues now? Still an alert. Athos, you're a baby. No, you're not. You're just tiny. Oh my god, how small? No. Okay, must have just not transitioned into a full size. Gariel because mid-swim or something. Great stats, actually, overall. I think we can put you in the Trade Center. Alright. How about now? How are, we, how are we feeling now? Still got an alert. Avni and Viraj are our two adults. These are all babies. And they're all on contraceptives as well. So what is our alert about? Too, is it too crowded? Too many babies? Is that the uh, the issue here? One uh, quarantine pass. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this over here. Two quarantines have passed. That's excellent. But I do want to check to see if there's any infighting or anything. This is all the maturing that's going on. The overcrowding that we've already tackled, I hope. We're good. We're good. You know what I need to check, though? I need to check on my Komodo dragons. I need to check to make sure. Oh no, who died? Inbill just passed away. Let's call a vet. I arrived after it happened. This is a little unfortunate. But, uh, right, where is. Sorry, where, where are we right now? Completely got disoriented there. There we go. Hang on a second. Alright, Motor Dragons. Do we have the right ones in here? Do we have any extras in here? We've got you know, Buddies in the Trade Center, Haliapa, and. Susil are in here. And neither of them are on contraceptives. Susil is here. And Kaliapa is here. Okay, let's quickly check to make sure that they are. Good results overall. Fertility might drop a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, overall, decent results, it seems like. That 67 will end up on the higher side. That 100 will bring the 75 up a little bit. The double 92s might end up a little bit higher, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Edlock, I thought I thought you were in the Trade Center. Where are we? Gate's the easiest way to get a quick... Uh, pretty sure Edlock is, yeah, in the Trade Center. Okay, cool. And all the babies are on contraceptives as well. Uh, but we're, we're going to do a thorough check on that uh, next session. Making sure everyone is happy 
with their toys and stuff, getting all of our animals onto contraceptives, uh, all that kind of stuff we're going to do, well, all of our babies onto contraceptives, all that stuff we're going to do uh, next session as a part of the management part of it. We also will have a time lapse next session. It'll be a beauty pass, but uh, but we will have that... Um, we will have that uh, management stuff to take care of as well. Because it is it is pressing. The only reason we're not doing it today is because I, I'm... I can guarantee you that I do not have the brain power to do it efficiently, and I'm likely to make some mistakes. It's good to know one's limits, I would say. <laughs> I really want to get these... Uh, Japanese macaque in though. I'm so excited to finally have them in. I really like the uh, habitat we've built for them. I thought the suggestion was great when it came through in the comments. I had a couple of ideas of how I wanted to do it. Uh, one of my ideas involved a lot more verticality. I think I mentioned like getting a nice big uh, pagoda over here. Um, but then when it was suggested that we do the uh, the spring instead, I was like, that's a, that's a really nice idea. It's a very kind of unique idea. It won't look like the monasteries and all that. Because we've got so many monasteries, we've got so many you know, uh, tall structures and stuff in this area, uh, this at least differentiates our, um, our Japanese area. Why, why are you just in a box out over here? What? What is going on? And also, actually, before it becomes too late, I should check our, our overview, our report, our latest report was, okay, good, five stars all across. What are these guys doing? This is very much connected. You go. You pick them up. What are you what are you doing? <laughs> I do not understand. Cuz you can go from here, you loop around, you go 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 go. You end up over here, you loop around, you get up, and then you get in through that door. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay. Okay. Move you back in. Let's have you moved out. And person's coming through. Do your job. Don't make me fire you. I will totally fire you out of just <laughs> frustration. I don't understand why this is happening. Put you back in here then. Where is our macaque? I think I put them into the uh, trade center by mistake. Okay, Osamu. Move. 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 Let's go, and now it's raining. I don't understand why this wouldn't work. Path is connected. If they can get up here, that means they can get down there. This is connected. Is this incomplete? It's not incomplete or anything, it's ready. Right, so we're good. What are, what, are, what are we got going on over here? Okay, overall. What's the deal here? Vet research complete. For what? Oh, right, the reindeer. I was like, what are we still researching? Amelia Young is going to have the uh, fortune of researching our, uh, our monkeys. Are these animals being moved? Are we, are we getting someone to come through? Are we what's going on here? We bring you and can somebody please come through <laughs> it'll make me very happy it'll make me very happy i i got some more suggestions about how to take care of the greater flamingo by the way i mean why not let's try and, and implement that let's look away from the monkeys for a bit well, they're busy monkeying around we can come down over here i like that from a distance you can kind of see the color coding of the zoo and i can kind of read where uh, i should end up so the, one of the suggestions was that maybe we put down some more do not disturb signs. So let's try. I, there's a couple of suggestions that I want to try before I give up on uh, on this um, endeavor. Some some of y'all have been suggesting that we uh, just kind of admit defeat basically and uh, and uh, get rid of the walkthrough. 
unfortunately, the thing is that this is a very, um, it's a very good connection. It's a very good, like, path to cut through the zoo, so I'd hate to, um, just get rid of it, you know? We have a lot of Do Not Disturb signs. I don't know if putting down any more will actually help. Of course, it's night time. Our monkeys arrived. What's going on? What's going on here? Like, there's no explanation or anything. Not invalid as a habitat. I don't understand. Carry the animal. Yeah, I don't... I don't follow. Animal has escaped. What? How did you get out here? No one's freaking out. We've never had an escape from... What's going on? Well, what's going on with the game this session? The only other thing I can think to do over here is move these monkeys to a different quarantine and then bring them back if I can find a different quarantine. Just anywhere, really. Let's, let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. Got somebody right here. Let's see what they do. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay. Okay, fair. Is something wrong with that habitat then? Like, the only thing I can think of is that there are, yeah, I'm sure a lot of escape routes. But... That's never stopped me from putting an animal into an enclosure before. It's not incomplete. It's got a full connection. Goes all the way around, gets down to here. Right, goes through, comes over here, comes up. Connection, connection. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good over here. Yeah, everything's fine. Come on, game, work with me here. Work with me here. Still being dragged over. It's gonna take some time. It's a long, long, long walk. I mean, what's the point of the convenience of these if these can't be used? Like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Wandering. Getting a little tired two years ago. These are old thoughts. Okay, I I, I need this to work. I, I need this to just work. We got a new challenge as well. Habitat species breeding, that's fair. Alright, while we're waiting for these animals to, you know, get done their quarantine, I suppose one thing we could do is take a look at our exhibit trading real quick and just Oh right, I was like, what? I've never seen that warning before. 65 out of 50. Go ahead and quick trade all of you. Done. We're well past the two millions now. We're, we're rarely going to come below. I know we came below right after our time lapse because of all the building. But uh, I think that's a comfortable spot to be in. Have you arrived yet? Almost. Okay, so into the quarantine over here. Like the one at the very heart of the zoo, basically. Right? Done. We're done your quarantine. I would like to... You don't have an original habitat. I mean, I could risk clicking on that button and seeing where they end up. And this is where we want to send you. Q. 
Okay. Pick up the monkey. Put the monkey in the enclosure. What is going on right now? The game is not giving me any warning or anything. It's not... I'm not getting any any indication as to why I can't put this monkey in the habitat. Like I've talked about UX and 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 stuff before. Okay, what if I what if I go ahead and and do that? I don't know what it thinks their previous habitat was. Okay, so it doesn't actually let me click it, which makes sense because they don't have an actual habitat already. Fine, fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay. What could be what could be going on here? What could be going on here? Road is connected. Is is this an obstruction? Is that the problem? Can they not sneak by the bin? Then you'd expect them to at least come closer and then drop the monkey off. Like drop the box off. Okay. What are you what are we doing now? No, it's not even zooming the camera over to the box. That's great. Okay. Where? There. I was like, where am I supposed to be looking? Here. Can we move you now? Like, it's raining and everything as well, so it's like impossible to see. Did I do anything that would allow us to move? No. I just waited. It's got to be something with the habitat, because otherwise... Like, we were able to move them from one quarantine to another, so that's fine. Oh? Oh? Oh my god, I think we've got it. What did I do? Did I do anything? I don't... I don't... I really don't recall doing anything. I just looked at it. I moved the bin. That's what I did. Are you kidding me? That's what it was? Ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Hey, it is what it is. They're being brought over now. That's what matters. Like, there should have been a clear indication of what was going on there. Anyway, there wasn't. Problem solved, it's okay. That's what matters. The problem has been solved. That's what matters most. Now we can move on as if the problem never existed. Because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter as long as we've solved it. Right? Right. I can get this uh, waterfall going over here. My hope is that it'll look better than that. Once we get all the parts in, maybe. Uh, can we actually snap you down there? There we go. Let's get you. Nice. Because I want I want to have this like waterfall up top, and then at the bottom, obviously, we're gonna like have a lot of steam and stuff. Ah, uh, doesn't look very good. That doesn't look very good. Get rid of that. And where are we? Not facility, sorry, construction. Waterfall. Midsection. I want what does the murky bottom look like actually? Hmm. Okay, it looks it, more like a mucky bottom. Yeah, I don't like that so much. I don't like the murky. Better midsection. Not really feeling it. Oh, you know what? Midsection, 10 meters, align to surface. There we go. I was like, what's going on? There we go. Oh, 
All right. And now it's snowing. Well, thankfully, the Japanese macaque, I think, is actually okay with our, like, local climates and stuff. So we should be fine. Uh, we'll get the we'll get the waterfall done later. I want to look at my monkeys. They finally arrived. Let's see all of their escape routes. Oh wow! You know what? That's actually not as bad as I would have expected. I was expecting a lot worse. This is actually not that bad. So it looks like they're able to climb up to the roof, and as a result of that, they're able to get over and outside. So all we gotta do to prevent that is get, uh, I mean, you know, the, the, the reality is I wouldn't mind them climbing their roof a little bit. Kind of what I wanted. But then I had to build a guest entrance and stuff. Um, okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. In a construction, take a look at uh, East Asian walls. Mm, or... Okay, you know what? Actually, let's let's go ahead and delete that. Right, can you still get up there? I guess you can, eh? Shouldn't be able. I guess they can get up there from over here. Delete this as well. I like my custom custom construct, but evidently it's not going to work. It's okay. It's okay. Can we move you up to. No, of course we can't. There we go. A little bit lower. There we go. It's a problem. Panel too long. Okay. Okay. Move you over to here. Get you looking like that you up. What? What's the problem? I'm just going to delete it. I don't know why I can't. Just a little too far away. Okay, that's fine. You know what? We're just going to adjust our wall. That's not a problem. Put a null barrier down over here. And over here. You've got to be this. we got to make it climb proof as well. Come on. Come on. There we go. Over here. Why did this whole thing not grow? I don't... It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> and let's go and make you climb proof. Make sure it's on the right side. There we go. So hopefully with that, this looks terrible. <laughs> I'm okay with a little bit of jankiness. This is this is terrible. We went from something which I was pretty happy with. Something that's kind of bumming me out right now. Come on. Camera's not even turning properly right now. Let me straighten you out. There we go. Okay, cool. There we go. And this thing, just going to move it over. Just going to move it over. Like that. No big deal. No big deal. Don't like this, but it's okay. We'll, like, never see it. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's unpause. Find our monkey. Unpause, and then we'll see how the habitat updates. How that maneuverability Updates. Yeah, they can still get up top, can't they? No, okay, good, they can't. I was like, I'm trying to figure out what they can climb. So they can't get up, but they can get out over here. That's fair. That's fair. Um, 
easy solutions. Go ahead and get that over here. And let's edit the barrier. And extend. Well, I don't really want to put the wood extension down over here, if I'm completely honest. It just doesn't feel right. It feels, again, to address a critique from uh, from a previous uh, build. It feels gamey. It feels like a video game solution as opposed to an actual real-world solution. Let's get some trees, maybe. Some unclimbable trees. Uh, what am I looking for? Trees. Property. Not climbable. <laughs> the opposite of climbable. It's okay. I'm just completely ignoring my notifications right now. I'm I'm sure all kinds of horrible things have happened. All kinds of horrible things have happened. Continent, Asia, biome, go with tropical. Sorry, not tropical. Temperate and taiga, I believe, is what they like. Um, these are all climbable, aren't they? You're not. Okay, let's put you down over here. Drop a couple of these down. Get another one down a little bit further out. There we go, like that. And that should hopefully do the trick. Okay. Where's my monkey? <laughs> I gotta get them like food and stuff. I haven't done all the, the things that you need to do. Wasn't expecting this to be so rough. Wow, they, uh, tucked right in, didn't they? I can't imagine. I don't know. I'm really worried about the views and stuff at this, uh, at this enclosure. Because of how many trees we have. I want to reduce the number of trees, actually. Are you... Come on. Give me the monkey. There we go. They're happy with the environment. It's way more than enough space for, uh, for what they need. Coverage is good and stuff. I can't really remove too much of it. Enrichment obviously is poor. All the all the other stuff is poor. There is some work that needs doing for sure. Oh, you're climbing. All right. Ah, uh, just a small climb. Oh, look at the run. Run, monkey, run, run. So happy to be out of that box. Oh, that's not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's smooth climb up the tree. Climb through the tree, why not? Reach the edge over here. Now, that's the thing, like, once we get, like, 30 of them or whatever the uh, upper limit is, that's when I think we'll be fine in terms of visibility. Oh, wow, they, they like to move a lot, don't they? I have no idea where we've ended up. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have no idea where we've ended up. How far along we've moved. There's way too many trees. As much as I like how kind of like, you know, real it looks with its density, there, there, there are way, way too many trees. This is looking really beautiful, though. Like a little winter wonderland kind of a vibe coming from it, honestly. A little bit, a little bit. All right. Um. Yeah, I have no idea where these monkeys are. <laughs> I have no idea where these monkeys are. One's up there. The other one's also up over here. Okay. Where? There we go. No Osamu. There. I feel like he's making a face. No, he's not. I was like, is he baring his teeth? They are so cute. Little mustache. All right. I mean, I'm glad we got the animal in. I'll be honest, it was a bit of a struggle, more than I would have expected, but... I think we have a fun enclosure built for them. We just have to uh, make sure they're actually using it. Obviously, they like their trees and stuff. I wouldn't mind seeing them out on some of these trees and climbing around on these things as well. Uh, but we'll see, right? We'll see. It's winter. It's snowing right now. Uh, we'll 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 see how they deal with it when uh, when the snow stops, folks. I hope you enjoyed this session. This is what we're going to call it. Um, I apologize for some of the issues we were having here and there, like getting the animals actually in. I'm I'm still super annoyed at that bin, but whatever. It's a, it's a has-been. Huh? <laughs>
God. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. As always, if you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. On the topic of massive, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.